Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. I'm your fat guy, Andy Baker, and today we are going to be making Costa Salted Caramel Brownies. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to be doing the Costa Caramel Brownie, Salted Caramel Brownie, because it's my favorite thing to get whenever I go to Costa for a coffee. If you're American and you don't know what a Costa is, or if you're not English and don't know what a Costa is, it's a coffee chain, just like Starbucks basically exactly like Starbucks. I think the coffee is a bit better, to be honest, and the, the food's probably better as well. It's kind of all better. But, you know, we're gonna have a go at making it, see if we can keep it up to the standards of the Costa Brownie, which is a very, very high quality fucking thing. I've been pissing around with the recipe for the last week and got it somewhere where I think it's as close as it's gonna get. So, let's see how we do. First thing, we are going to put all of our meltable ingredients in a bain marie, which is just in a pan over a water bath, so they melt nice and slowly without boiling, burning, or getting too hot, etc. So we're just going to have a pan of water on here, another pan to sit inside, and we're just going to throw everything that melts in there and let it all combine and melt together. 255 grams of butter. In the bain marie, 150 grams of light brown sugar, and 150 grams of granulated sugar, and 150 grams of dark chocolate. Let's throw this in our bain marie, and we're going to let this go until all the chocolate and the butter's melted into the sugar, and it's all nice and ready to combine. One of the other ingredients is the salted caramel, which we're going to be adding to this. Uh, I've actually made this as a YouTube short, and I think I'm probably going to put it up as a TikTok as well. Don't do that. Calm down. Oof. So yeah, I'm going to put it up as a TikTok and a YouTube short, so you can see how I made the salted caramel. It's nice and easy. Our mixture is now melted. There's a little couple of clumps of butter and stuff in there, but it'll be fine. So we're going to pop this into a bigger bowl. We're going to get it all over us. Mm, tasty. Really should wear an apron. People keep sending me aprons. I should really wear them. This looks amazing. Now we want this to be warm, but we don't want it to be hot, right? And that's perfect. The reason we don't want it to be hot is because we're about to add three eggs to it and whisk the shit out of it, but we don't want this mixture to cook the eggs and scramble them. We're also going to add, you can add vanilla to this, but I'm going to try some of this salted caramel essence just to really bump up the salted caramel and throw a nice pinch of salt in there as well. Get our eggs ready. Okay, so we're gonna whisk in three eggs, one at a time until they've completely disappeared and this all should start getting loads lighter. Should also increase it in volume quite a bit as well. As you can see, quite a lot lighter now. Okay, let's zero this off. Okay, now we need to add 130 grams of standard plain flour. And 45 grams of cocoa, or you know, yeah, cocoa powder. Okay. That's pretty much the hard work done. So now, we're going to very slowly and deliberately fold this together until it's just combined and you can no longer see any dry flour. Okay, there you go. Perfect brownie batter. So now, now this is an eight inch 
baking tray, I believe. So we're going to pour half of this in here. Like so. And then we're just going to tap it out. Let it all spread. When you put it in the oven, things will also melt out a little bit more and fill in all the gaps. So it should be fine. And then we're going to take our salted caramel. That'll do. And then the rest of this can go on top. Until the caramel set a bit more. Yes. Okay, so have I potentially completely fucked this up by putting the salted caramel on while it was still all uh, liquidy? Good chance. Good chance I fucked it up. Okay, so we're going to put this in a 180 degree C oven for about 45 minutes, take it out let it sit straight in the fridge, let it cool down completely, and then we'll bring it back out, slice him up, and see how we did, and see if we completely ruined it or not. If anything, it's just gonna have an amazing caramel layer around the outside. But, um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, and here we go. Our brownies are done, and all cooled down and ready to go. Now, this may not look exactly like the brownie that went into the oven and came out again. Because that one may have been a complete fucking disaster and I may have burnt it and thrown it all in the trash. This may be a completely new one that I did last night and, um, and I, I, you know, I mean, it, it's the same thing basically i mean people do this in cooking shows all the time they have swaps you know you swap a thing in blah blah that's all i'm doing you know it's fine it's not cheating i'm, I'm not a con man i kind of feel like one but yeah so let's uh let's cut open our brownie and see uh see how we did the one thing i don't know if you can see or not but it's got that lovely like flaky crunchy like top on it that you get with really good brownies really happy about that okay i think we just flip it and bang it and hope for the best Ooh. look at that Beautiful. Right, so we do half. Beautiful. And let's have a look. Oh, check that out. So it's got like a nice big thick seam of caramel running all the way through it. There we go. Hopefully, very similar to Costa chocolate brownies. Should we try one? That should be illegal. Holy shit. I'm calling the police. Oh my god. That is so good. Look at that. Mm. 
Mmm. A crunchy on the top, gooey and soft in the middle, a big stream of caramel. Mm. Oh. There you have it, Costa salted caramel chocolate brownies. Thank you very much for watching. Another Fat Guy's just cooked. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think checking out the stats on the video, only like 50% of people who actually watch the video are subscribed. So if you're one of those unsubscribed people, hit that fucking subscribe button. See loads of more, loads more content, loads more of me. And uh, and yeah, have a have a great day. Peace. You have yourself a great day. Okay.